I'm Karen Collins, and I'm here today with Dr. Elizabeth Jeffrey from the University of Illinois. She's well known for doing research on compounds in foods that are important to our health and what happens that makes them more or less available for our uh, digestion and ability to use them for health. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Oh, you're very welcome. All right, let's take um, just a minute and you, if you can talk with us about microwaving vegetables. You uh -huh. clarified that in terms of getting this sulforaphane from broccoli. Mm -hmm. um, not good to boil beyond a, just a quick blanch because of um, losing this enzyme. Mm -hmm. Steaming is great. Microwaving has become really one of the very popular ways to, to cook quickly. It has. Um, now, before we talk about the isothiocyanate formation, mm -hmm. in general, it is a good way to cook vegetables, right? In general, it's great because you're not leaching anything into water the way that you would with boiling. Okay. And it's quick. It's and quick. So it retains um, water soluble vitamins like vitamin C and things like that. Absolutely, it does a very very good job. In fact, very often if I want to make, um, say, a one dish meal, I'll microwave my vegetables, and after I've cooked everything else, I'll just add the vegetables, mix them in, and serve. Mm -hmm. And so they just cook by microwaving. Um, however. Um, the problem with microwaving is that it does get it hot very quickly, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. because it goes from the inside, it, it gets all those water molecules moving around. And so that can kill the enzyme if you do it for too long. And too long is mm, about a minute or so, a little bit more than a minute. And so that is a problem. And so I think if you want to microwave, the best thing to do is to have a little bit of a, a raw crucifer on the side. I would love to say that in the future you'll be able to buy frozen broccoli that already has um, added to it something like daikon radish which has a more stable enzyme. But it's not available at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, so for now the microwaving issue is, is pertinent to both fresh and frozen broccoli. Yes. That it's in that processing that the enzyme gets destroyed too quickly. That's right. That's right. So top choices are either steam your broccoli mm -hmm. or um, steam your fresh broccoli mm -hmm. or um, if you're going to either microwave it or if you're cooking frozen by any means, right? Because the freezing has already destroyed that too. So even if you yes. steam frozen Broccoli. Yes, the processors so who, who generated the frozen broccoli, they go through a, a period of blanching. And I'm sure you've noticed that when you open your packet of frozen broccoli, it's that lovely bright green. And the way you would get that bright green is by boiling. Basically what they're doing is they want your broccoli to stay with a good fresh flavor when it's frozen. And so they want to kill off some of the uh, degradative enzymes. So that's why they blanch. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, they have blanched, and, and typically when they blanch, they kill off the enzyme. So even if, while cooking at home, if we're steaming it, we're, we're preserving this enzyme. Um, if we're steaming it that we bought frozen, we've, that's already been destroyed. So in either microwaving or cooking frozen broccoli by any means, that's where we should be looking and having some other right, have a little coleslaw maybe with your your meal. You know, everybody likes a little salad, or buy some of those red radishes and put a couple of red radishes in your salad. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be in the same bite, okay? Mm -hmm. Just in the same meal. In the same meal. And we we did a, a study with uh, four four young men, and showed that if it was in the same meal, not the same bite the myrosinase was able to act on the uh, crucifer that didn't have that enzyme in it anymore. So it did a very good job. Mm -hmm. And this is not just a little difference in how much sulforaphane we're getting, this is a lot. Right? It is a lot. It is a lot, yes. Well, thank you so much for this time today, Dr. Jeffrey. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure. And thank you for joining us on Smart Bites. I hope you'll come back sometime soon. Bye-bye.